guys, welcome back to Everyday Struggle on the Desk of Academics. And we're here, two special guests today. We got Young Dumber, Dolph Dumber. and... <laughs> and keep clock with us this right, morning. Right. Welcome. I'm trying to figure out which right. one is dumb and which one is dumb, yo. Real talk. Right. It's, it's right. different one, different day. Mm. Right. Well, I was just finna say that we have our days. Yeah, my, yo, I really, the first, when I first seen this shit on social media, I, I, ain't, I didn't get it. I was like, what the fuck going on with these two niggas right here? And I realized, I'm like, these are two dumb ass niggas, man. I want to know like, how much I, money I, was I, lost yeah. in all of these pranks. We have some footage. Should they got the insurance. Footage? They ain't lose Which one? They lose money. Mm. So they got a project out right now. It's called Dumb and Dumber. Let's right. roll the footage. They've been pranking each other. We've been right. seeing this all over social media. Let's check it out. That was bullshit. That was at my birthday dinner the other day. Uh, yeah. Happy yeah. belated. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, so Keith, like, he's the Jim Carrey. Everybody can't do it. You know what I'm saying? You got, right. it's like, bro, it's like, that's my little cousin, so he just do what he want to do. Right, 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 you know right. You right. I mean? So, like, what I'm supposed to be mad? I can't be mad at him. How y'all come up with that name, like, Dumb and Dumb in the movie? He did. No, 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 no. of course, on the movie, but, like, like why did y'all choose to, like, do a project like that? He did it. That, that video y'all just seen? That, yeah, yeah. When he, with Carl, they would take it off. So, so, normally, just outside of even, like, promoting an album, like, that's how y'all are with each other and shit? Yeah, we're like we we real family. Like we we just enjoying life, having fun with this shit. We ain't, we don't care if you like it or don't. Like we know what's up with it, bro. But then what happens after you hit him in the face with a cake? I grew up in a big family too. Me and my cousins fuck with each other all the time. But when I did something like that, it didn't end with laughs. I was usually in tears afterwards. They used that to shit torture got all me. Of my and <laughs> like, that shit. You know what I mean? But like I said, like my mom was tripping, my auntie tripping, my kids were tripping. Like everybody was just tripping. Like. When I'm supposed to be mad, I can't get mad. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, oh, nigga, like. But him being your little cousin, I know, <laughs> I know that you, like, shit, y'all growing, growing up around each other. I know that y'all been doing shit to each other forever. Mm -hmm. then. It's like what he just said, bro. Like, yeah. we just having fun with it. We just doing what we do. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? We don't give a damn about nobody's opinion. We don't give a damn about nobody. Uh, what's the word? Like, uh, I don't even know the word, but we don't give a damn about nobody think. I got you. I got you. <laughs> But as long as y'all having fun with it, that's the key part. This kind of showed me a different side, especially you, Dove. Like, I mean, I've watched you over the years, but, like, this seemed like you was just having fun and give a fuck. Like, sometimes we see you, you be serious. You know, like, th this time around, it felt like you was just kind of carefree. You didn't give two fucks, and you was just kind of going for the ride. Like, I think, as as a fan, I looked at it, it as, like, I'm seeing a different part of your personality because I see a lot through music, and I see certain things, but I don't know how you are outside of that shit. Mm. Cause it's like when Glock was ready, when he was trying to drop the song, that's what all that shit was about. He was like a couple of days before the whole little shit when you bust a window, like three days, two, three days. You were like, huh? Was, did y'all plan it for him? No, bro. Oh. He, this, <laughs> I planned it. He, okay, okay. He, my cousin called me. My other cousin called me like, bro, where your keys at? Where? I like, I got my keys with me. He like, what's like, what? He like, oh, I need to cut your alarm off. I'm like, why the fuck my alarm going off? Oh, Glock just, like, I'm like, I look on the internet. What the fuck he doing? He like, tell Dom to drop the song. <laughs> like, bro, we talked about this already. We finna drop the song. You know what I'm saying? So I wait till I see him, wait till I get back out there. And I'm like, what the fuck he doing? Like, he like, bro, we need to drop this song, bro. You bullshit, this shit hard. I'm like, this shit is hard. We finna drop it, but goddamn, like, give me some time. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, we finna drop it. So when listen to the song, and I just get to listen to the shit, cause we don't record music together. We just start recording music together. Like all up until right now, like when y'all heard Major, that was the first song we ever recorded together. And like we don't do music together. So it's like, you know, Glock, what he doing, what he got going on, what he done built Glock up to be in Glizzard, that shit all on Glock. It ain't got nothing to do with no doubt. Mm. You know what I mean? So he like, bro, we need to drop this song. I'm like, we be listening to it. But I get to listen to some more songs. I'm like, bro, we need to drop a whole mixtape. He like, oh shit, and just, he just went off. Bro, we gotta call it Dumb and Dumber. We gotta put this on it, that on it, and shit, it's really. You the mastermind behind this shit, bro. Yes, sir. Damn. So even with you not, y'all not doing music together, like when you did Glaucoma, when you do your tapes, are you still involved with the process? Of like, you know, y'all a and r and this shit together? Y'all sequencing it, going through the music? We probably be, sure. it's like we do it together, but it's really majority of him, because it's like this Glock, one thing about it, it's slick. I, when I when I look when 
when I pay attention to Glock, it's like I see myself in him a lot. It's like mm -hmm. he don't make a lot of bad music. Like all his shit ride. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like like he killing shows. Like he he know what he doing. He know what he want. He know how he want his music to sound. Mm -hmm. Like the only thing I might do like, damn, there's there's too many songs. Like take some on. Like take like he probably wanted to put 30 songs on the CD. And I'd be like, bro, you, like put like. 16 I'm on there, I'm on 17, like, you okay. know what I'm saying? But you're down there, y'all really consume music a lot down there like that. Like, you know what I mean? I'm just talking about from your region, like from Memphis. Like, y'all, what I notice is like, up here, if, if an artist drops like 20 songs, first thing people say is, man, I'm not about to listen to that shit, but down there, y'all have bumped through everything, like. That's cause it's different in the South. Right. You know what I'm saying? The South, like, you know, it's the South. You yeah. got all these clubs, you got all these script clubs, you got regular clubs. We we party late, you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? It's like, you know, we just competitive, you know what I mean? Like everybody competitive, like we put that out, but we listening to something else. We listening to a whole nother project right now. Right. So I wanted to ask a question, right? Because you say you see a lot of Glock in yourself. And like me personally, listening to your music, I felt like twenty sixteen, you should have been on that double XL freshman cover. Like I, I thought you. I should I thought that you would have been on the, the double XL freshman cover in twenty sixteen, like the, the momentum you had. My favorite record that year was Loyalty. That was my shit. They always but, play Memphis artists on that list, though. Like, I feel like they, they never really... But I wanted to act, what I wanted to ask is, like, with y'all doing this project and... I'm going to keep it real. Mm -hmm. well, I don't want to keep it real. <laughs> <laughs> I, real quick, I'll so, real. Uh, let me finish real quick. Real. So, I, like, Glock, I found out about Glock. I actually found out about Glock from niggas up here last year. So it's like, your music is getting everywhere. Sure. Do you feel like next year is going to be your big breakout year? Because people know about you, but I feel like you still haven't had, like, that breakout year yet right like everybody got their time it's like i don't know when it's coming but i know it's coming and mm -hmm. when it do like they ass in trouble because mm -hmm. i ain't asked for nobody help i don't want no handouts or none of that mm -hmm. like it just is what it is gotcha mm -hmm. what's up <laughs> you got a lot of for the though, right? yeah, yeah you <laughs> always had it and you try to take that right back Whoa. you got to get it off your chest you wanted yeah. to be honest for a minute yeah Oh, no, I can't. I don't. This is the place. There's no other place. You got to come it. here and be honest. Wait, wait, wait. Did you think you should have been on the list? Or like you thought, because a lot of artists, a lot of artists are like, yo, yo, that list is something else. I don't, something I, don't else. Belong, I don't belong on there. It's something else because I don't belong on no list with no rappers in this industry. Mm. Why are you Keeping that? it 100. Dang. You don't consider any of those people to be your peers? I ain't going to say not to be my peers, but that's not everybody like, I'm on my own, like, I'm on my own, like. I'm on my own expressway. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. It ain't nobody y'all can sit or nobody been in front of y'all that got my situation. It, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Did, like, like do what I do and how I do it, or did what I did. You know what I'm saying? So it's different. I, we gotta talk about your situation because y you know, like you were riding with the and, and shit. I, I champion you for that. You know, you independent. Then you start tweeting out that you, you you had an offer for 22 mil, then you said you uh, signed that shit deals. real. That shit, is that real? Uh, that shit. Because I, I told to some 22 people. $22 million dollar deal, all that shit real. I go in my email, pull the contracts up right now. Because mm. I told to a certain couple of people who was in the know, and they're like, yo, if, if you believe that Dolph really had a $22 million dollar offer, you are wildin'. You must be dumb. For certain people who in the industry, they're like, yo, he's not getting that. And also, like, you know, like, we talk about other artists and, like, for example, um, like, say, Logic. Logic was rumored, like, he signed, like, a $30 million deal. I think he's looking at you like, check this out. Check this out. Check this break out. It out. Check this out. I don't want, I can't break you all the way out because, you know, that's why everybody in their feelings right now. You know what I mean? Like, the industry, the rappers, the, like, the artists and all of that. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, bro, I do numbers. You know what I mean? And I'm fully 100% independent. So the numbers I do, I get all of it. You know what I mean? So within a year, over a year of time, bro, 20 million, like that ain't nothing but like, all oh, they want to give me 20 million. They know what I'm doing. They know what's this, what's that. Like, oh, they ain't doing nothing but give me a year, a year and a half upfront money I'm finna make anyway. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, and on top of that, bro, that's just Dolph. Bro, you got Dolph and Glock now. Did you ever consider negotiating you know I mean? the terms or just no, not even never, all want, interested? No, I don't want to do it. Why don't you want a major situation? No. Like, you're doing good by yourself, which I've always given you credit for, but I, your shit could be, like, you it, put a, you, it, it could be bigger. Like, like you don't feel like you're missing out on some shit. It's not like, a lot of times artists that are new, they got that chip on their shoulder. When you're independent, 
You keep that shit, but mm -hmm. you've proven to everybody that you that nigga. Being independent, why wouldn't you just sign that you could get some additional help, that you could compete with some be like I don't want to be like everybody else. What matters to everybody else, it don't matter to me. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, really, the only thing that matters to me is to be in control, be able to do what I want to do, and make a whole lot of money. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's like by me knowing that and me getting right here where I'm at right now in my career and me knowing everything I know is like, shit, bro, you got 22 steps to go up. You know, went up. 20 of them, you know, went up 19 of them by yourself, you know, did it, you know, built your own building with your hands. Why the hell am I got them bring all of them to come join along with me to go up the last three steps? So wait, real quick, I, so even with you being independent and this is something I'll be one like artists that are independent to break down because you still have a staff. It's still a, pe a, a, a team of people that work yes. with you to make this shit yes. happen. That's in the business. You got to have a staff, you got the, to have the a mis team. The misconception is that a lot of young kids, they think independent is just your money out your pocket and no. you just being in the studio. No, you got to you got to have a team. You know what I'm saying? Like You got to have a team. When I say a team, like somebody that's going to be in control of this, somebody going to be in control of that, somebody in control of that, like, like, like I got a team. You know what I mean? And it, you don't need no whole lot of people. You need the important people, bro. Right. Your team, a lot of people you came up with or some people you've met in the industry, a combination of both? A combination of both of them. It's you been hard to build that team out. It's not easy finding. Before the cameras were rolling, we were joking about that artist who spent $3 million on the corporate card before they yeah. caught him. Business is not easy. Shit like that happens. But, like, how tight is your team? It's real tight. You know what I'm saying? But I do business with people that's... This, 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 this good at what they do, and like people that's, you know what I mean, that that's good like me. You know what I mean? Like I can look at somebody, I know when somebody dead ass serious about what they doing, cause I'm dead ass serious about what I'm doing. I'm still trying to figure out about this twenty two million dollars. Like, <laughs> no, no, but, but on why he turned it down. If it's, if it's the principle of being independent or the number they offered him. If that number was fifty, do you still say no just to stay independent? Or it is really, there a number that they could come to you it with? It wasn't the money, it was the percentage. Oh, okay. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, the 20, that's cool. You know what I mean? Like, I can take that, go do this, do that, do that, and do that with it. But the end of the day, it's like, that's what everybody else thinking about, the dub. I'm thinking about the percentage. Mm. You know what I mean? Because the dub, I'm going to make that little weak ass shit anyway. Mm. So it's about the terms more than anything. Exactly. It's about the terms. What, what, I want to know what was your... See the business side, like, see that you're a businessman like that. Mm -hmm. Like, because we see you talking on Instagram, but we don't get to see that part. That's interesting. No, nah, bro, I'm dead ass serious about this. It ain't... I'm dead ass serious about this. Well, Doc, when you started out, like, because, of course, you know, everybody coming from the hood, no matter where you're coming from, it's like the dream is to sign a deal, right? So it's like, what was the turning point for you where you made that decision when you like, nah, I'm going to just do this shit from the muscle no matter what? Was it early on or was it like you building it up and thinking about getting a deal? Or did it just like you have that mindset from the very, very beginning? When I first touched the microphone. Yeah? On my kids. Mm. That's heavy. Cause I wouldn't think, not saying specifically to you, but it's I just know like that. a lot of people don't I know that. Listen, yeah. That's why I'm telling you, mm -hmm. and that's why I'm telling y'all that this shit right here just different. Mm -hmm. It's like y'all ain't never seen, ain't no, y'all ain't never seen from no artists like me. Everybody else got a building that's working for them. They got a building that's doing that, doing this, and doing that, doing this for them. Mm. All they got to do is turn the music in. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, no. There's no challenges for you along the way? I Stay, love the challenges. I love this shit. I love this shit. I love the challenges. What are the you challenges? Know what I mean? Everything. I think it's good to educate I people. Because like Bruno said, people think a certain see, thing. Like, so. If you want this independent shit, you want this, you want that, like, you got to know what you're asking for. You got to know what you're getting yourself into. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't be a crybaby. You can't be a, a, a complainer. Mm. You can't be a sucker. You can't be a lame. Like, you can't be a duck. You can't be none of that. You know what I mean? Like, you really got to let your nuts hang in this game. You really got to be, like, real deal on it. Like, 25, 8, fuck 24, 7. Like, real deal talk. Mm. You know what I mean? And I had this mentality forever. You know what I mean? So, like, right now, shit, I came in just like this, yeah. Mm. Like, do you learn from like Dolphin, like his like mentality and perspective? I know, like, I mean, you're seeing him doing it, but like, how does like, that make you kind of approaching him? I'm gonna tell you this, like, I learned a lot from bro, like, like, like within like the industry, like, we we know what's up, like, 
then again, we real family, so like, we don't gotta have no friends. Every, like, he teach me the game, and I just, you know what I'm saying, I run with it. I add my own and run with it. See, I don't feel like y'all underdog, because a lot of times we're independent, like, you're right, everybody else got this big, big ass bill that's working for them, right? For sure. When you indie, like, a lot of times- Ain't nothing wrong with that. Ain't nothing wrong with that either. Right. Because it's like, who to say, like, I might still go do a labor deal. You know what I mean? If they give me exactly what I want, that's what the thing is about. Like, people be getting shit. Everybody got shit fucked up. You know what I mean? The internet, the whole, like, what people's perception is on shit, like, the sh like everything. You know what I mean? Everybody being screwed, like, tricked, and everybody, like, just everybody don't get shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, me, I'm, I master thinking. You know what I'm saying? Like, everybody, like, it's like, 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 it ain't about the deal, bro. It's like, get what the fuck you want. Pay me an equity. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, it's just like, bro, you can't tell me how much money you want to give me for a deal, for a show, for a verse, for nothing. You know what I mean? And I'm going to do it when I feel like it. So you're not it ain't nothing you can wave in front of me. You can't wave no dollar, no check, no nothing in front of me to make me move. But have you ever had those conversations? Are people even open to it? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, do yeah. they but meet the you, same, try, try to meet you halfway or not? At the same time, yeah. Hell yeah. I'm having these meetings, so of course they is. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it's like we getting that shit started. We done got it rolling. But it's like it still ain't what exactly I want. Mm -hmm. I don't want to get 70% of what I want, 80% right. of what I want. Like, I want this shit to be all the way 100% of how I want it. So if you, with, with that being said, how do they how do they get their ROI off of a deal, doing a deal with you? If, if you want 100 how are they able to, whomever that would throw you some bread, how are they able that's to called, work that That's out? called business, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like doing business with anybody, bro. It's a back and forth thing. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's like you got a stick. You got a stick. You got this end of the stick, that end of the stick. You know what I mean? So it's like, you know. I know. I'm just saying it's like, you know, even down to shit, tack, like, Everybody, no, none of us keep 100% of every dollar we make because we live in America. We got to pay taxes. We got to pay fees. All I, ain't trying to keep so, every, I ain't trying to keep 100% of every dollar I make. Just that ain't what certain, I'm trying to do. In, that ain't, I'm just trying to up my percentage on what I want, bro. Like, gotcha. I'm be, I, like, I done did this shit. Like, ain't nobody never did with this music shit, bro. And when I sign a deal and do it, it's going to be some more shit that ain't nobody never did with this shit. Mm. You know what I mean? And it's like, I ain't asking for an uh, opinion. I don't give a damn what uh, nobody got to say, nobody think. Like, I don't need no, 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 you know what I'm saying? No, no solidification, no, no, what the shit called? Everybody be looking for. Validation. validation. Yeah, everybody look for validation right. from the world, from the internet, from social media, from their partners, from their friends. Man, you ain't no validation. Your ass ain't gonna never be successful. That's true. You ain't gonna never get to where the hell you trying to go. Never. Me, while y'all waiting, I know. What's the long-term goal? Where are you trying to go? Up. <laughs> <laughs> we How far up, though? You know. J just even because we hear a lot of artists say this, I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to get in the mind of honestly, because a lot of people they now say they don't got a record deal, they got a partnership, and they got they're like, I got a 50-50 partnership with the label. If a label came to you with something like that, that 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 doesn't entice you. They don't make you wanna. Like do business. They can't me. With, that's what the deal was a 50 50 So you're not into the 50 50. No, I don't want to do that. Mm. What's your thinking behind that? Because a lot of artists feel like that's the better thing. Where you know why? You know why that all, a lot of artists feel like that's the best thing, the yeah. better thing, and like, oh, this shit cool, mm -hmm. because they ain't did all the shit the young dog did to get the goddamn where I'm at in my career. Like, tell me somebody that signed and did this shit like they got to work. I got they got going on what I got going on. They went and did a deal. None of them. Everybody did a deal before they were getting five thousand dollars a show. Everybody. And you want all your masters and all that shit, right? Yeah. I've been on all my masters, on everything that got anything to do with Dolph, paper route, like, it's like, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, this shit ain't no play play shit. Like, this some family shit. It's just, like, no one it's dead ass serious. serious. With paper route and you, like, the route that you're going with it, no pun intended, like, that's the education that you're giving your artists as well, right? I'm gonna put you up on some guy. Mm -hmm. In a minute, it's like, you know, shit keep going. Shit keep going and going. Mm -hmm. It's just like, I got the game I learned from niggas like Gucci Man, Master P. Right. Know what I mean? Bird Man. Know what I mean? Growing up looking at these folks, putting out all this music, doing all this shit. Know what I mean? This and that. But it's like what I did. I took that shit and did it my way. Right. 
So what you think? The youngsters, the, the young niggas, the, the 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 ones coming up, what you think they're gonna do? It's gonna be so many dogs and they go it's gonna be some of them just gonna take the shit and do it way bigger mm. and really hit major licks with it. Mm. Know what I mean? So that's what I'm doing it for. So it's kinda it's like, like, like a part it's of like, independence. It's like <laughs> it's like, yeah, but that ain't I don't even want that title. I don't give a damn about no title. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I just want everybody to know it's like, bro, you don't need nobody. Or they validation, or their opinion, or no nothing, you know what I'm saying? Like, whatever you think and whatever you want to do, just go do that shit. Don't stop. You know what I mean? Like, I'm in the airport yesterday on the way here on my kids. Bruh, the law stopped me in the airport, took more than $2 million from me, I mean $2 million worth of jewelry from me, 60 racks from me, and both of my phones. What? Shit. The jewelry? Fuck they On my kids, bruh. Well, they still got it now, or did this? Yes, they started? got my shit right now. Shit. Why? Mm -hmm. That happened when you landed here, or when you no, was leaving from? When I was leaving Memphis, my family threw me a, a surprise birthday dinner. Mm -hmm. The shit y'all seen, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. it was like two days before that, so I was down there, got ready to leave last night and shit. On no grounds, they don't even have to give you a reason. That's all crazy. It's crazy, bro. It, it, on another note, because you know, like recently, and I seen you tweet it, address it, and you know, like I think a lot of like even your fans, they would be worried. Like outside of the business, they love the music, but they worry about your well being. Like there was some fake story that like you had niggas shot at you again or something like that, and and that you had to clear it up. Cow. That shit is super cap. Do you do you have to move differently now? Like hell no, I don't move differently. You know what I mean? It's like I'm gonna keep it real. But I still get into it with my homeboys, my family, my team about how I move and shit because I just, like, I don't give a damn. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's like even when I got shot, I got shot because I was by myself. I was walking this somewhere by myself. Like, I'm a person, I don't like having security. I can't, I don't, it's like, I know y'all know a lot of rappers, a lot of niggas, like, they got to have security with them and get up and go to the bathroom, do everything. I ain't that nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like, they ducks, they lame. I can't do that. I ain't come up like that. That ain't my personality. But you don't feel bad for your family and your friends? Even if it's like you're not a worried kind of thing, like it hurts them if something happens. You don't think about that. And you got everybody relying on you yeah, too, but, bro. Yeah, but trust me, man, I'm good. I mean, that's one way to look about it. I was just thinking about because you're a father. I'm a father as well. And just like, um, just your kids, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm, I'm not thinking about you having security just because, you just for protection of you, but... I mean, just just for protection from other rappers' situations, but you know, you do want to make it home at night. You know what I mean? I'm gonna make it home at night. <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying. You know what I mean? I'm not. Hey, I'm not don't, trying to don't wish nothing on nothing. I'm just saying. You know what I mean? Like we just get so many instances of shit that could have been prevented. You know what I mean? As far as like with security and security, that doesn't always stop shit either. I mean, like that. Yeah, that don't happen. It's gonna happen, bro. Just, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Like, you know, when it's your time, it's your time. Yeah. We bliss. I mean, we don't even, we don't think about nothing, nigga. I yeah. ain't gonna lie to you. Glock, crush. I want to know how old are you, my fool. I don't know. Twenty-one. Twenty-one. All right, you twenty-one. So, no. we're, we're, now I want to get into like, how has it been over the past like two years and all of this shit happening for you? I mean, you've been growing up around Dolph. I know y'all probably did a lot of shit, but how's it been for you taking all of this in? Now you becoming a rap star. You know what I mean? How's things changed for you? Really, it's like I've been like I've been going to clubs coming up. Like I've been like I've been just out there just running wild. Only thing that just changed like I got some money now, so mm -hmm. it just made me wilder. Like mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? I'm young. I, I'm gonna have my fun, but I know when and when not to have fun. Mm -hmm. I got you for sure. I got you. And dealing with the industry has been okay for you. A lot of people don't like the shit. I don't like it. I'm good. I ain't worried about the industry. The industry is actually boys. great, man. The <laughs> industry is great. It's just the people that's in it. It's just the people. Right. Like, that's the thing. If you don't people know what, is everything. If you that's don't know the what to do with the industry, if yeah. you, you get in the industry to love the industry and looking for love, oh, you feel like you, you a dummy. That's <laughs> 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 well said. It's like, it's like you a dummy. You know what I mean? It's like you going to the screw club looking for love. You yeah. a dummy. Mm -hmm. you, you never believe, so, like, but, but a lot of people, you know, Shit, before I ever met anybody like in this, I used to just be at, at the crib. But once you start meeting people, you have expectations and you have a perception of what you think it is, then you be finding out niggas fake. You be finding out that people just trying to use you. Like, you ever had a moment where fake you, you shit, thought shit, That fake shit goes so many different ways where everybody consider fake. It's like, you know, 
Like, you know, people consider, you can, like, some people consider a street nigga that got a job fake. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But it like shit, yeah. bruh, he ran in the streets, did time, shot a nigga, got shot, did this, got kids, now he got a job providing for his family, doing this and that. I salute that man. Right. That ain't fake to me. Mm -hmm. It ain't lame to me. You know what I mean? Whether he work janitor there at the school, he work at Church's Chicken, he work in Walmart, he rapping, I don't give a damn what it is. Taking care of your family that's real, ain't nothing about it fake. Only thing that's fake to me is lame. The moms that don't take care of their kids, don't take care of their family, dog. You ain't no provider. Like, like, people don't know what a man really is. You ain't no man if you ain't provide. That's what's fake to me. I, I agree with you there. Because I, I feel like what's fake is people that can't be themselves or people who go out their way to be something that they're not. You know what I mean? Like, he, what's crazy is, I, I just say a quick story of myself. When I was trying to be in the street and trying to do shit and getting into trouble, you like, seen so much fake shit. Yeah, but it's like the, the real, all the respect and validation I was looking for at that time, I got when I just got out of the street and started getting a regular job, but trying to do something to provide for myself. I just can't stand when people don't want to be themselves more than anything. Fuck the streets, man. It's streets dead. Mm. Like, that shit ain't, ain't it. You know what I mean? Like, that ain't it, bro. You ain't gonna get it. It's like, it look good, but... Yeah. Is it hard getting out, though? A lot of times it feels like when you're trying to do better for yourself, other people feel way about know. that. I wouldn't know. Okay. Yo, uh, switch a little gears on, on the album. Yo, if you tweet that this wasn't an album but a mixtape. Yeah. Really? Nigga, it's an album. What you mean to say it's a mixtape? I feel like, you on that. I ain't gonna lie, I feel you on that because it's shitting on everything that came out <laughs> in the last 12 months. And that's your, that's your heart. That's your you know heart. Production on it too is fire. It's like the production fire, all of the verses, the shit, and it's like it's 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 the shit. It's Dolphin Glock. Like I don't know. What's the process of making this? How long this took y'all to make? Oh y'all already did y'all compile a bunch of shit y'all already had or? No, nah, when I got back, after he got back from me busting the window, man, we recorded that. <laughs> the busting the window started week. it all. Right. In a week. I ain't gonna lie, like literally a week. All 22. Yeah, quit, 22 songs It's really week. more like, than that, but I was mad. You know what but, I'm saying? But at first I was mad, but it's like I wasn't mad. I'm like, I ain't even fuck it. It's like, mm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So like, that's where, that's where the title came from. Everything from just that instant. Like you didn't have that already planned out. Y'all just did it from there. They kept telling me I was dumb. <laughs> not not him, but everybody. Period. I'm like, man, you, you dumb as hell, bro. Man, what you doing this shit for? Like, mm -hmm. Fuck y'all too. Like, you know, that's just my attitude. <laughs> Yo, do I care about sales and shit like that? Because I've always been impressed by how, like, niggas be having whole buildings, be throwing wild amount of money to hmm. promote their shit. They have every other artist supporting their stuff. And, like... They ain't gonna support this right here. Because they, they, they want to be in this situation. Sure. They don't want to... It's like, they like, oh, shit. Dolph already... He, they going too crazy. But we can't post that shit. It's gonna turn them up even more. Hmm. But we can't get on the support. It's like, nah, we all, like, like no. They scared of this shit right people here. People in your city they or just people in general? No, the whole industry. Hmm. The whole industry. For real. And they bumping my shit. And they got, and it's they, like, you know, rappers, they gonna send, they gonna <laughs> inbox me, DM me, call me. Bro, this shit's so hard. You <laughs> know what I mean? But they don't want, they ain't gonna post that. Mm. They ain't gonna do that. Why? Because mm -hmm. I ain't on their label that they with. Mm. I ain't in that situation they in. It, it, I ain't in, it's like we got, it's like y'all already looking too good. It's like, bro, it's like, I don't, I just want to look. Somebody hit y'all in the DMs like this shit fire. You know, but you know, know somebody, a lot of bodies in the DMs on How the do you FaceTime. Feel about that, what do you say to them? It's funny. Like, do you say thanks? Like, like yeah, you, I love y'all. Appreciate you gotta play that. that game. Nah, I appreciate with it now. You play but it. at the it's same the time, it's like you know, <laughs> it's funny. Yeah, I love you it's, still. It's, it's, I, don't, it's, I don't charge your mind for it, your heart for it, but it's funny though. Mm. See, you know it's like mean? people scared. I'm just keep making this it. money. Don't just keep doing that thing. Like I don't. I see you though. It's funny though. But appreciate it though. You, you never mm -hmm. feel slighted. Like of course they're not gonna invite y'all. Be like, yo, come on this tour with us or come well, do this. No, like, that, we ain't no, no, that's I'm not the game, No, I ain't like we ain't trying. Make no. You... <laughs> <laughs> Hell no. What does that do? Why can't go on like, nobody like, tour with nobody I don't fuck with? Well, it's, well, it's only so many people I fuck with it like like their music like yeah. I gotta like their music and be like oh this shit hard like yeah. I go be on yeah. the road with this person and like shit I don't want to just go out performing and leave like no nah. shit I'm gonna go look at their show yeah. I'm gonna smoke a blunt with them I'm gonna do this I'm gonna do that I'm gonna have drinks with them I don't even drink you know what I mean so like I ain't the person that's why 
I don't fit in with all this shit. So I'm just stay out here and do our thing and, you know. I mean, I, I will say that I don't see like tons of support, but I do see certain people support. Them my dogs. Yeah. It's like, the only, street, it's street it's the only ones. Show. It's the yeah. only, it's the only, I ain't, I'm talking about artists. I'm talking about people yeah. that matter, bro. I'm talking about artists. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, ain't, that ain't, I'm talking about artists. Mm. You know what I mean? I'm talking about even bloggers, even what the shit called, uh, just everybody, bro. The industry, period. Th that's you know what I'm surprised when y'all be doing. Y'all still do numbers though. Like, yeah. like, like that's project. why we don't give that's a fuck. Right. Mm. Like, is it a science? <laughs> for like, you know, nah, but if that's why we don't give a fuck. If everybody could do that though, they'd be on the same shit. But yeah, they got this. What I'm saying, though, the okay. Mind? But then what I'm saying, okay, just yeah, because this my position and this what we got going on over here, paper route. Why y'all want hate on it? Right. Why y'all want to sit back? Like, all y'all want, y'all don't want, y'all want slick hate on it. Y'all want all the way hate on it. Like, y'all all fuck with is this that, but. No, you hating on you know, like you ain't like. You know what I'm saying, saying? like, now I was mean? just telling. Earlier, really, people, go ahead, Glock. I was like, like with internet, like a, a lot, of, a lot of motherfuckers that's around that can't do it without reaching out to the next upcoming. They broke. Or, they you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's like they, 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 they wave down out. So, oh, let me, let me run over here with him. Let, let me make this look good so industry. I can stay alive. That's industry. That's why I don't link with nobody. It never will. That's the, what the industry is. You leech off everybody's. Look, if you but, got a bus, run over here to you. That's cool. But, but I done did so many features, but like from when I started all the way up to like now, where I get everybody the features, everybody to hit me, everybody that's coming up, everybody doing their thing. Mm -hmm. I remember when I got shot, you know what I'm saying? And a lot of people were asking me for features, this and that. Like keep in mind, that, like where I got, I got shot, and I wasn't doing shit. You know what I'm saying? Like I wasn't doing shit. Like people like, man, take me on tour, do this, do that. Like, but I couldn't do. A lot of people seeing me real, cause like, hey, do this, do that. Like I couldn't do. It wasn't the time to do it. Right. You know what I mean? Like shout out to all the ones, the real ones that understand that shit. Like my boy PQCP. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like he was like, bro, I need you to get on this record for such and such and such and such and do. -woo -woo. But like during it was a whole time, like I really wasn't even doing no music, I wasn't recording. You know what I'm saying? So, but. People on the outside looking in, they don't know that. They just think, oh shit, he out the hospital, he doing his thing, he this, he that. He bought, he got money. He back to know he back to work and this and that. Nigga, nah. I'm in at the house playing, throwing my little babies up and shit, catching them, mm, kissing them and shit. Mm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's what I'm doing. You know what I mean? Like, I ain't like record, I ain't have I wasn't able to record. So question, with the with the label, like with y'all being so close knit, cause it's family, like literally family. And you recruiting talent, do you look like outside of people that you don't know? Because Memphis is like, to me, Memphis is like yeah. almost how Atlanta was when they had their crazy ass run. You know what I mean? Like, I'm seeing Atlanta like, so still many, having a crazy run. They having a crazy run, run but I'm saying Atlanta, I, Memphis is one of the markets I'm seeing like starting to boom. Shit. We the shit. So, you it, know what happened? You know, you know why Memphis the shit? Yeah. Keep it 100 with you. You looking like you don't want me to keep it 100. No, 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 no. I want to know. You want me to keep it 100? I'm looking at All this shit started from Dolph. This shit started with Dolph Wade. Everybody, all the last little shit y'all come like, all this shit start from dog. All this shit, like. What you mean? Cause of, it's like everything, everything that come out. It's like, when did all these Memphis artists get hot when there's so many Memphis artists? You feel like you're, you're influenced? Um, yeah, um, I did that, single-handedly. Well, I wanted to know, like, do you sign artists that's out from outside? Like, you know what I mean? Like, like that's not I fuck family. with everybody. Yeah, I just, signed, I just signed a new artist. Shout out to my little brother, Kenny Money. Mm. What, what'd you say? Kenny Money. Kenny Money, all right. It's a lot of monies. I'm, th <laughs> I'm thinking. Money. Shout out to my boy Fat Tony. Okay. That's a strong statement, Dolph. What's that? What I have? What's that? Y y you said all, I'm guessing you're talking like all the new niggas coming from Memphis was popping Bruh, up. Bro, it wasn't happening before Dolph came out. But, but now what I mean, you did like was Memphis different. wasn't hot before it Dolph came out. <laughs> now I mean, Dolph put the light on Memphis. Oh, it's just little Memphis kid running around, getting all this money, getting all these bags, he independent, doing his thing, this and that. Labels got them looking at what? Memphis. DJ like, oh, what's going on? Oh, oh shit, he sound like Dolph too. He look like Dolph. He dressed like Dolph. Hey, they, it's like, it's catching the wave. I love this shit. That's what I did. That's what I did. That's what I did it for. I got to ask on the ground later. I got to ask on the Memphis. That's what I did, you know I mean? I did, did this shit for. Because, because, just Check this out, check this out. I'm you keeping it real. Right. Listen, don't nobody talk about cocaine no more. And they raps, that shit played out. That shit been played out for years. That shit ain't hot. You talking about cocaine in your rap? The shit is, man, yeah. the, <laughs> hey, that shit outdated. Yeah. <laughs> like spoiled milk. <laughs> I'ma leave that there. <laughs>
<laughs> Leave that back. back. Nah. Only nigga that <laughs> talk so about so that so shit and goddamn it is hard is my boys. Migos. I fuck with it. I, I, I like the confidence. I like the I just got I'm I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask everybody from Memphis if they if they crown Dolph as a nigga who hey, listen, everybody Dolph else got this shit, shit up. Dolph turned the shit up. Dolph made everybody wanna turn the bosses. Dolph made everybody wanna hey like it's like I turned the shit up. I really can't say it's on how many ways, but Dolph the one turned the shit up. Dolph got all the young niggas bossed up. Dolph got all the young niggas having a plug. Dolph got all the young niggas hey, yeah. <laughs> Glock. I want to ask questions, yeah. right? So Glock, when you, were, when you was coming up, was it was it even an option of of signing with anybody else, or this was exactly what you wanted to do? Cause you seen it from the from the crib. Man, bro, I ain't let dude know I was rapping. Mm. On my mama. Like, he, I ain't he, never know he, he was rapping. He been huh? dope. Like he been had three, four, five, six tapes out. I would. I wasn't even running with him. I, I was, know, you know what I'm saying. I'm, swear you know, to God. I'm doing my own thing. How you found out? I got locked up, mm -hmm. and my auntie who passed away, married to his, to his uncle. Mm -hmm. She let them let him know, like you know what I'm saying. And then we just took it from there on our own. Mm -hmm. I mean, obviously music is a focus now, but you're also a smart businessman. Uh, is there life beyond rap for you, like other businesses and stuff that you want to get into in the future? Investing anything, building anything in Memphis, anywhere in the states, that kind of stuff. Most certainly. Stop with the bullshit answers. What's <laughs> most certainly mean? You can't. Most I'm not certainly. trying to steal your business yeah. plans. <laughs> no, I can't. I ain't gonna. What you went to Dolph? Dolph look like he full of music. This nah. thing looks like music is his trap house, man. And he got a system. Now nah, I know popping. he's got more in there. He's just not trying to. It's an interview. I gotta ask you questions. You know what I mean? I'm curious. Atlantic Records, Def Jam Records, Interscope Records. They don't sit in front of y'all and tell them what they finna get ready to do. <laughs> <laughs> we don't interview them. <laughs> I know, but I'm a rapper though, so I'm here. Okay. You know what I mean? Like, I'm just saying though, keep it real. No, no, am no, I no, telling I the truth or am I not? No, I understand that. I understand oh. that. Like, I, I feel the, the way you look at yourself is, is it's like you're a corporation, man. Like, you're an you entity. And I respect, I, I could tell you see yourself and what you've been doing, and you're right. You're, you're more than just a rapper. So I, I could understand that aspect of it. But, you know what I mean? I'll yeah. stay tuned to find out what Dolph yeah, Enterprise yeah, yeah. is up to in the C9, future. Bro? Have I heard from him? <laughs> I actually have, yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> what you think about that? Let's no talk, story, let's talk man. About, don't tell me. You, you, you said something like that. Hey, you said something like that. I don't go there with him. Hey, no, 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 we got to go see. I heard a nigga snitch on his daughter, dog. <laughs> nah, that's a little wild. <laughs> <laughs> I heard he told on everybody, bro. His daughter, everybody. Hey, 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 hey you be told on? Hey, listen, and whatever you going to say, I, I ask him the same question. He say he'll talk to people when he get here. I don't know what that means. In the meantime, <laughs> Dumb and Dumber is out right now. Right now. Go check that out. Shout out to Dolph. The number one album for, in for the coming country. Up. In the, the world. In the country, man. In the world, hey, in the yeah. country, hey, globally. On no. planet Earth. First of all, I love pocket watching. That's just okay. That's, oh, wrap it up, academics. I know this nigga getting more money off just his sales alone. He get more money than niggas who sell hundreds of thousands. That would be praising. That's facts. If he own all this shit like that, ain't no if. Hold on, hold on. That's why he Stop. won't talk whoa, about those whoa, enterprises. Whoa, 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 nigga whoa, been whoa, whoa. What do you mean if he own all his shit like that? All right, you own all your shit. So I'm just saying. I just say, respect that shit up, man. I respect him more. I respect him more when, like. I'll throw up like, oh, you about to sell this, and people look at it a certain way, but then they don't realize all of that's going to you. Like, that's I mean, cool. I mean, do my little man. This shit ain't doing nothing but going up. Mm. And it's like, right now, it's like, I'm really on, um, I can't tell y'all about that. Is <laughs> Dolph Enterprises gonna be hiring? Where do we send our resumes and shit? I ain't no Dolph Enterprise. <laughs> you gotta be a family member. Oh, it's family only. All right, fair enough. Not for we me. Try. I wonder what type of deals they're giving up. Ah. <laughs> I really want to know. We got to go. Gotta Thank you guys for blood. watching. <laughs> for real? For real. Thank y'all for coming through today, y'all. Yo, we'll see you guys next real, week on Everyday Struggle. <laughs> Appreciate y'all.